Alright, I apologize, my desk is really high up. Uh, it's because I'm in the middle of doing go live sessions with you guys. So anyways, this is a quick recap of what we're doing, or what we just did. Uh, basically what we did for first grade is that we read this book called I Ain't Going to Paint No More. It was a very interesting book. I didn't like the how it was like worded, but uh, it was still a cool book. And so we read this one, and then what we did is that I went over the two different types of paints, and we talked about the differences between this kind of paint right here, and this paint right over here. So if you don't know the difference, please continue watching. And then what we talked about is how they mix together in this little example right here. I'm not sure if you guys can see. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> Anyways, that's what we did in the video. So keep watching and you'll see what we did. All right, thanks so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. So it's recording now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip my camera to this camera right here. Uh, basically, it's going to be pointing down so you guys can see what I'm seeing on my on my table. All right, let's see if this works. Oh, that's the wrong audio. One sec, sorry, guys. Charlie uh -oh. and Kayla, those look great. Hold on, guys. My microphone is the wrong one. Sorry. Right. Nice job, Paige and Melina. Melania. All right. Let's Good see. job, Narayanan. All right. Can you guys hear me? Okay, uh, can you guys see this uh, part right here? All right, awesome. Okay, so this is the book that I want to go over today. Uh, it's called I Ain't Gonna Paint No More. And uh, it's an interesting book. Uh, last class was the first time I ever read it. And uh, it has some grammatical issues, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. So anyways, I'm going to read this book to you guys. I'm going to talk about what we're doing today. All right, so here I go. I Ain't Gonna Paint No More. One day, my mama caught me painting pictures on the floor, in the ceiling, and the walls, and the curtains, and the door, and I heard my mama holler like I never did before. Yeah, I ain't gonna paint no more. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. It looks like her mom, or his mom, is hiding the paint. But he's right there. That's what I say, but there ain't no way that I ain't gonna paint no more. It looks like he found the paint. <laughs> Let's see what he's about to do. So I take some red and I paint my head. I ain't, now I ain't gonna paint no more. Oh, what the heck? I'm gonna paint my neck. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Still, I just can't rest till I paint my Chest. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Guess there ain't no harm if I paint my arm. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. But I just can't stand not to paint my hand. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Then I see some black, so I paint my back. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Like an Easter egg, I'm gonna paint my leg. Now I ain't gonna paint no more, so I ain't complete till I paint my feet. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. This kid's really messy. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. But I'm such a nut, I'm gonna paint my. And the mom comes in and says, what? You all don't faint because there ain't no paint, so I ain't going to paint no more. So it looks like he got caught and he's about to take a bath. And that's it. All right, so that's just a book based on painting. And what I'm going to do is show you a couple of different types of paints. And I'm going to get some volunteers to try to help me guess or tell the class what kind of paints they are. So I'm gonna switch my camera over to me. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the two different types of paints I have here. So over here, I have this one right here that you guys are familiar with. So this is called something in particular which I'll get a volunteer for. And this is the same as this. These are just refills. So whenever this runs out, I will refill it with new paint. So I just gotta drop them into these little pods over here. And then I have this paint over here and it's in a different container and it looks a tad bit different 
Now, with that said, I do need a volunteer who can tell me by raising their hand, what kind of pain is this? Or what kind of pain is this? You can either tell me both or you can tell me what one of them are. Okay, it is paint. And they all they are colors, but I'm looking for a specific name. Can anyone tell me by raising their hand? Anyone want to take a guess what kind of paint this is? I'm gonna pick Ziola. Paint she was raising her hand. Okay, hold on. Uh Ziola, I saw your hand first, and then I'll red. Uh there, there is red here. That's a very good guess. Um, Ms. Mervetti said that Paige was raising her hand. Paige, want to guess what both of them or one of the paints are called? Oil paint and water paint. You got one of them right. Um, this one right here is watercolor paint. So that's what she said. So she guessed correctly on this one. But this one, this one's a little bit different. This one's more safe for kids. And it's very specific of how it works. So this one, I'll give you a hint. It dries a lot quicker, so that way it's a lot less messy, and that's why we use it in elementary school. So this one has a specific name, but it's not oil paint. But that was a good guess, though. Anyone want to take a guess of what this one could be called? Maybe I'll pick one more person. It's a hard one. Anyone want to take a guess? I don't see any hands on my screen. Owen is raising his hand. Who? Owen. Oh, Owen, you want to take a guess of what this other one could be? I think it could be dry paint <laughs> that's a very good guess though but no all right so this one is called tempera paint tempera paint so this is called tempera paint and again when this runs out i will refill it with more tempera paint just like this and it dries super fast and this one was called watercolor paint there is other paints called oil paints acrylic paint uh there's even spray paints but um we're not going to be using those at the moment and i don't have Examples of acrylic and oil paint at the moment. It's all back in the classroom at uh, at school So with that said, I do have a piece of paper. You guys don't need to have anything. All you gotta do is watch So here's my watercolor And here is my tempera paint and if it's out of focus, it'll focus momentarily So what I'm gonna do is give you guys a couple examples of how each work So I have my water right here and again, you don't need anything. All you gotta do is watch so I'm gonna spin this around, here we go. And then I'm gonna use a specific color to see how they work. So um, watercolor is very different than acrylic. So let's do watercolor first. So I'm gonna try to color red for both of them. So here's my red. And I'm gonna try to paint as big as I can so you guys can see on your screen. So this is called watercolor paint. And of course I need water and then the paint. And then I just put on the paper. If you guys do not know, if you, want to, if you guys want to make it lighter, all you have to do is add more water. And then just keep adding more water, and then it'll get a lighter red, aka pink. Pretty cool, right? And then if I were to use a uh, tempera paint, I just got to add water as well. I'm going to put this right beside the watercolor so you guys can see the difference. So this one is tempera paint. It's way darker. As you guys can see, it has a darker feel to it and it dries way quicker. So this is the normal paint that we use at school uh, when we're in the classroom, especially last year, we used uh, tempera paint just so it's a little bit safer and it has less harmful chemicals. And again, if I add more water, it's lighter. Pretty cool, huh? So with that said, I did make a video based on Mondrian, a famous artist, and I talked about how to mix colors and what they make. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna quiz you guys. So if I have yellow, so I'm gonna add yellow to this brush. If I add yellow to this red over here, can anyone tell me by raising their hand and without calling out, what would happen if I add yellow to this red? What color is gonna get made? What color is gonna get made? I'm gonna pick page. Orange. All right, let's see if she's right. I'm gonna start on the outside first so you guys can see it. it is yellow. So it is yellow on my brush, but if I go closer to the red, oh, Paige was right, it turns orange. Great job. Let's see if the same thing happens for red. Now, remember what I said where temper paint, temper paint does dry faster. So something different could happen. Let's take a look. So here I have the yellow. 
And I'm going to put it right beside this one. So this is tempera paint as well. So on my brush, there is yellow. There is yellow on my brush. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get closer to the red and see what happens. Here we go. All right. It looks like it's, it is uh, changing orange, but it's kind of going over it because the red is already dry. So it doesn't mix as well as watercolor, but it's still making the orange color. Good job. All right, I still have more time with you guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quiz you even more. Let's see what happens if I just do yellow over here. All right, let me just add more yellow here real quick. Give me one sec. All right, this is temper paint over here. All right, who could tell me by raising their hand what would happen if I added blue to my yellow? What color will get made? Anyone know? Let's see if I can get some new friends here. Anyone have any their hands raised? Mackenzie, you wanna try to guess? What happens if I add blue to the yellow? Green. All right. She says it turns green. So here's the blue. So you guys can see there is blue on brush. I'm not cheating. And then I'm going to add it to the yellow. Maybe I should add more water. All right. It should be turning a green but it's turning like a really mucky green at the moment. Let's try this. Mackenzie is right. Let me see if it works with watercolor. Give me one sec. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add watercolor right over here. So that's yellow. And then I'm just gonna add a touch of blue. And then let's see what happens. So here's my blue. And I'm gonna try to mix it in with the yellow. There we go. Ta-da! It's green. Good job, Mackenzie. All right. There is one more mixture that we do have time for. We have about two minutes left. All right. What happens if I mix? Here, I'll do a watercolor because watercolor does mix better. So you guys understand that sometimes tempera does not work the best when mixing colors. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add red over here. All right. What happens if I add red to blue? Anyone know? It's our last mixture. Oliver. Right, he's seen really fast. Oliver, would you like to take a guess? What happens if I mix red and blue together? Purple. Good job. Let's see if it works. So again, there's blue on my brush, so you guys don't think I'm trying to play a trick on you guys. So there's blue. I'm going to go closer to the red and see what happens. Good job. I'm getting a dark purple. There. So that's the lesson for today. We just went over a color book, which was kind of interesting. And then what we did was we just try to figure out how to 